Nano, what is Nano? Think about the dimension of a coin and try to put them in a path of 10,000 kilometers. It comes from Greek word nanos, that means dwarf, a very little tiny creature. About that big, we don't see. <laughs> One nanometer is 10 to minus nine meter. Nano is in our body. And we have this very special microscope that you can see the signal atoms. And not only see them, but you can also pick them up and move them and manipulate them. So we can zoom in into almost anything. So it feels like you're walking into Legoland. So once we can know, understand and manipulate processes at the nanoscale, we can reach some big technological advances. In physics, chemistry, electronics, biology, medicine, energy, engineering. From the moment that we woke up and until we go to bed, it's a part of our life. It's within the carton of milk and it's a coating on your sunglasses. It's nanofibers that make our jackets more resistant to water or to flame. Nanocellulose that they can be used as prothesis. If it wasn't for people having figured out how to put information into magnetic nano crystals, YouTube as we know it wouldn't exist. Nano is that important because we are challenging huge problems like the climate change. Imagine using the excess waste heat from an exhaust engine to power your mobile phone. This is where nano plays a key role for cleaning of the environment, cleaning of gases, cleaning of waters. But much more important in the direction of medical diagnostics, medical therapies. The aim of this research is to find new mechanisms and develop new drugs to cure diseases such as cancer. The idea came out in 2005. At that time, the past government was interested in opening a new center at the forefront of nanoscience and nanotechnology. Peter K accepted to be the director and elaborate a project in 2005, and uh, here we are. It's one emotion. I've been very impressed with the speed with which the centre has been built up over the past decade, the resources that have been provided, and most of all, the very excellent staff which Chima and Pedro ha have assembled. When I'm waiting. We have about uh, 100 people in 10 research groups. The collective group of Nano Une are key in our success, but always behind a collective group there is a leader, and I think uh, Nano Une will have not reached the level it has had without the tenacity, the will and the power, and also the intellectual vision of uh, his director, Chema Pital. We've started contract research with uh, industry, locally and worldwide. Having a center like Nanogune in the Basque Country is great because it's filling the gap between the research and agents and industry. I'm working in a collaboration with Intel. This gives me another perspective of my work because uh, it also looks more to the application-wise and what is the importance for them. Intel research together with Nanogoon will open new ways of detecting spintronic states and manipulating them for application in computing logic and memory. The Nanogoon Intel partnership can play an important role in this revolution. We've been founding a new startup companies. The first company we created was Graphenair, that is a worldwide leader in the production of graphene. It is uh, very important to have research centers in different uh, disciplines. For example, in the case of uh, Grafenea, without Nanogune, we wouldn't exist. I just can't do it without you. Here we have people from about uh, 25 different countries worldwide. The most gratifying thing of coming back home is to apply all the experience and knowledge I gained all those years abroad, here, home. State-of-art equipment is certainly a, a must. 
but having the collaborative environment that we have here is probably a plus, a big plus. The culture of this century will be scientific and technologic, and only the societies who are aware of this fact will be protagonists of their own future. All I can wish to them is to further develop the way it has been started. So, all the best for the next whatever years, 10, 20, 30, and so on.